In the Atlantic Ocean, Calagus elongatus is now known to parasitize at least 80 species of fish. One of the things that concerns us is that Calagus are very mobile. And any animal that gets around from one animal to another can also transport disease. Atlantic salmon smolts were exposed to the infectious salmon anemia virus. They found that uninfected smolts got the virus when the infected fish had sea lice on them, but did not get the virus when sea lice were absent. Sea lice numbers increased 360% on juvenile cod and 1400% on juvenile haddock between 1985 and 1986. And the numbers of juvenile cod and haddock also dropped dramatically at the same time. So when overfishing was blamed for the collapse of the herring and cod in Scotland, Norway, and Canada, wasn't really overfishing. No one suspected that a few fish farms could be incubators for sea lice and what danger that might pose for wild fish populations.